Welcome geniuses, I'm Gene, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. For today's lesson, I'm going to teach you one of the subtopics in the second chapter of Paper Cheat, which is about transforming a relationship to linear form. Basically, there are two types of relationships. The first one is power law, and the second one is exponential law. For now, let's have a look at the first type, the power law. How are we supposed to transform this relationship into a linear form? The method is very simple. You just need to either log both sides or log both sides. It depends on the question or it depends on you. For me, I just log both sides. After we have long both sides, for the right hand side, you need to separate the a and the x power b. So since the a multiply with x power b, according to the log's rule, we can actually separate it into two terms. Alright, and then for the power b here can actually bring it to the front. It becomes b ln x. Then what we need to do, we just need to try to rearrange it and compare it to y equals to mx plus c, which is the general form of a linear equation which I have learned in AS. Alright, so from here, you can see that the ln y it's the y-axis. The ln x is the x-axis. As for the gradient, it becomes a b. And for the y-intercept, it becomes ln a. Which means, for the original relationship here, when we sketch it with the x and y-axis, we will actually get a curve. For example, the curve looks something like this. And then now, the x and y axis has changed into ln x and ln y axis. And it changed the curve into a straight line. Where the gradient here is equals to b. And the intercept here becomes ln a. Clear? Let's answer the bottom part here. If the data satisfy a power law y equals to ax power b, then a graph of y equals to, which means the y-axis becomes ln y. Against the x-axis becomes ln x. It becomes a straight line with a slope m equals to b. And the intercept c becomes ln a. That's how we transform a relationship into linear form. Now, let's have a look at the second relationship, the exponential law. y equals to ab power x. How are we supposed to change this relationship into linear form? The method is the same. It's either you log both sides or you log both sides. Alright, so for this example, I'm going to log both sides. The LG symbol means the log with the base 10. Okay, so the next step is just to separate the A and the B power X. And then the X here, you should bring down. It becomes X log B plus the log A. And I'll add the log Y here. Okay, so for now, we can compare it with Y 
equals to m x plus c again. Hence, you notice that the y axis becomes log y, and the x axis still remains as the x. And therefore, it means that the gradient is equals to log b, and the y intercept is changed to log a. Okay, so let's answer the bottom part. If the data satisfy an exponential law y equals to a b power x, then a graph of y, the y axis is changed to log y. Against the x axis, it still remain as x. Will be a straight line with a slope m equals to log b, and the intercept will be log a. Okay. So for this, actually, no need to memorize it. When you look at the question, you just need to log both sides or log both sides to solve it. Let me illustrate further by using past year questions. Let's have a look at this. May June two thousand sixteen nine seven zero nine stroke thirty three. Have a look at the question. The variables x and y satisfy the relation three power y equals to four power two minus x. And for the part one, by taking logarithms, show that the graph of y against x is a straight line, and state the exact value of the gradient of this line. As mentioned in the question, we should now log both sides. But before that, let me jot down the question, and then I'll just add log to both sides. For the power y here, we should just bring down here becomes y log three. Same goes to the power of two minus x. It becomes two minus x multiplied with log four. And then for the log four, it should be multiplied into the bracket here. It becomes two log four minus x log four. And there's one thing to take note here. X log four is actually not equals to log four x. This is the common mistake made by most of the students. All right, so let me continue. And what to do next? The log three here got to move over to the right hand side, so it becomes a y. Equals to two log four over log three minus x times log four over log three, and let me rearrange it properly. It becomes y equals to negative log four over log three x plus two log four over log three. According to the question, they ask us to show that the graph of y against x is a straight line, and now it is shown because when you compare with y equals to m x plus c, your y is the same as the y here, and your answer x is still the same as the general formula of a straight line x. And that is how we show. As for the second part of the question, you are asked to state the exact value of the gradient of this line. All right, now where is the gradient? The gradient is here, negative log four over log three, and hence you can mention that the gradient m is equals to negative log four over log three. That's how we do for the part one. Okay, now let's proceed to the part two. Calculate the exact x coordinate of the point of intersection of this line with the line with the equation y equals to two x, and simplify your answer. To solve this question, you just need to solve these two equations simultaneously. Okay, so let's try it together. 
for part 2. Actually, you just need to substitute the y equals to 2x equation into here to solve it simultaneously. So 2x should be equals to 2 log 4 over log 3 minus x log 4 over log 3. To be easier, you just multiply every term by log 3. So it becomes 2x log 3 equals to 2 log 4 minus x log 4. And then just group the x terms together and factorize the x. And hence, you get 2 log 3 plus log 4 equals to 2 log 4. And hence, x is equals to 2 log 4 over 2 log 3 plus log 4. And according to the question, you are asked to simplify your answer. Let's check whether we can further simplify this answer or not. Let's say, for this 2, I'll bring up here as the power, so it becomes log 4 power 2. Over the bottom part, since there are two terms of log, you should combine it into one single log. And hence, it becomes log 3 power 2 times 4. Therefore, it becomes log 4 power 2 over 36. So 36 is a 6 power 2. And hence, both the 2 can bring to the front here and cancel off. So the final answer is log 4 over log 6. This is how we simplify our answer. Let's check with the answer here. The answer in the mark scheme given is log 4 over log 6. But ours is log 4 over log 6. But both are acceptable because log or log are both belongs to the logarithms. That's how we solve for this question. Let's have a look at another parcel question here. May, June 2013, 9709.32. The variables x and y satisfy the equation y equals to a e power negative kx square where the a and k are constants. The graph of ln y against x square is a straight line passing through the point 0.64 and 0.76 and another point is 1.69 and 0.32 as shown in the diagram here. You are asked to find the values of a and k correct to two decimal places. So what to do for this kind of question? It's a straight line here, and you notice that the x-axis is changed into x square, y-axis is changed into ln y, which means for this relationship, we should ln both sides instead of log both sides according to the question here. All right, let's do that. Let me jot down the question first. y equals to a e power negative kx square. And now first step, we need to long both sides. And then we should separate the right hand side into two terms. Lon A plus Lon E power negative K X square. And for the power can bring down. So it becomes minus K X square Lon E. And the E is actually equals to 1. So now your equation becomes ln y equals to negative kx square plus ln a. Alright, so when we compare with y equals to mx plus c, your gradient should be equals to negative k, and for the intercept should be equals to ln a. Okay, so first thing, how are we supposed to find out the negative k? then we should compare it with the gradient of the line here. Since we are provided with the coordinates, so we can use the coordinates to find the gradient, which is equals to 0 0.76 minus 0 0.32 over 
0 0.64 minus 1.69 and you will get negative 0 0.4190 which is equals to negative k and hence the case answer according to what is requested in the question correct to two decimal places should be equal to 0 0.42 all right so this is how we find out the case value and one more value a how to find out the a value here from the ln a according to the question since the line given here you can't find out the intercept here and therefore we cannot find out the ln a through the y-intercept we can only make use of the coordinates so let's say for now i want to make use of this coordinate let me jot down the equation here ln y equals to negative 0. Point, do not write in 0 0.42 that's the rounded up value for the previous part when we substitute into the next part to get the answer we should sub in as accurate as possible so for now i'll sub in 0 0.4190 as the k times the x square plus ln a and now we are supposed to find out what is a so we need to sub in this coordinate 0 0.64 and 0 0.76 there's a common mistake here what students usually do is they will substitute this 0 0.64 into the x and square it and substitute 0 0.76 into the y here and ln it but actually these two coordinates represents x square and the ln y so when we substitute into the ln y it should be 0 0.76 straight away equals to negative 0 0.4190 times 0 0.64 okay plus ln a that's the correct way to do it and from here you can solve and get the a's answer as 2.80 correct to two decimal places all right that's all for today i'll see you in my next lesson thank you that's all for today's video if you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.